Hi, this is PDF Berserk Arcade at BerserkArcade.com, and this is tutorial 235. Now, in this little mini series, we're going to start uh, integrating UI Toolkit into our game. So, to start off with, let's just open up uh, Google, or sorry, the uh, Unity Forms. And uh, I, I'll post the link to this in the little doobly doo down below, but if you want, you can just search for it. Uh, the title is uh, Prime 31. Well, it's right here. <laughs> you should be able to see that just fine. Uh, but anyway, I'll put the link to this thread uh, in the little doobly doo down below. And uh, you really should come through and read it since this is kind of, I guess, the most official uh, form post for UI Toolkit. And of course, down at the bottom, there's a GitHub uh, link so we can actually go get it. And I'm not exactly sure how many pages that this is up to, so it could be quite a while. It looks like it's up to 13. Uh, but definitely, you really should read over a lot of it. Um, let's just go back to the first page. I'm going to go ahead and download GitHub, or sorry, download it from GitHub. Right there. And let's go ahead and download. Now this is community driven, so you can actually add contributions and everything else to it yourself if you'd like. Uh, I'm not looking to do that right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and download it. And just pick the version you want. Uh, the the Tar GZ is a little bit smaller, but it really doesn't matter. It's a small enough package. All right, so that's done. I'm going to open it up, and it's going to give me this folder. Let's get rid of the original. And if you open up this folder, uh, it's already got a Unity project in it. So I'm actually just going to start with just this Unity project, and we're going to go through some of the demos. So let's close that up. I'm going to go ahead and open up Unity. And in case you didn't know, if you hold Alt down, uh, when you open up Unity, it'll bring up the project wizard here. And you can go ahead and just click Open Other. Uh, navigate to the folder that we have. For me, it's on my desktop. I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. And I'll go ahead and incorporate everything. All right, so it's opened up and it's failed to create a few directories for me. Uh, it's failed to create 86 directories for me. Uh, I'm not sure if um, this is going to cause any problems. Let's pick a scene. So we'll take the kitchen sink and let's just start this up. And what else is a lot of stuff actually going on. You can actually interact with uh, the items. Uh, move the eight ball around. This goes, whoops, this goes up and down. Uh, you can check this on and off. Uh, let's actually switch the screen resolution to something a little more appealing. Uh, let's try with, um, I don't know, the iPhone wide. Give us a 3.2. I'm just going to move. Uh, not quite. I kind of want to get rid of the bars, but anyway, we'll start this back up. And of course, as we see here, it's a little bit better. And of course, everything's interactable. But the thing is, if we open up the stats, we'll notice all this is being done in two draw calls. Uh, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, we're not going to get anything to that that advanced right away. Uh, we just want to learn how to start implementing some of the basic things. Uh, I do encourage you to go through and take a look at all these. And of course, all the scripts for them are included as well. Now, the purpose of this video isn't actually to get you uh, started with it, as uh, Prime 31 has actually already released a few tutorials already on this. Uh, so go ahead and take a look at their YouTube channel, and I'll link the videos down below. Uh, but go ahead and watch those, because they already have a few intro tutorials, and there's no point in me redoing those. Uh, but Let's just go ahead and actually open up um, one of the scripts and just take a quick look at it. So we'll go ahead and open up the uh, panel manager here. And as you see, there's really not a whole lot here. Um, uh, let's pick one that's a little more interesting. I think the first thing we're actually going to do with this is create our new health bar. Uh, so we can get rid of the old ones if you're still using the old ones. Uh, so let me go ahead. We'll just start off with the uh, text test. And we'll open up the GUI. And if you take a look here, he's creating a bunch of variables which are of type UI texture instance. And he's just named them text1234. 
And now we have not used this notation before. And if you're coming from uh, JavaScript, it might be a little, it's pretty much the same. So it might be a little confusing to see it in uh, C Sharp. And for those who don't know, it's basically the exact same as uh, coming in and saying you know, UI text and call it text is equal to, and then you can just cut and paste all this. It's just another way of doing this where you don't actually, you know, type out the actual uh, variable type at the beginning. And it'll, this will only work if you're assigning a, a, something to it right away. So in other words, you couldn't come in, you know, put it like that, then down here say uh, text equals this. It won't work. Uh, there's really, there, I've seen a lot of arguments about, um, you know, which way is better. Uh, personally, I prefer putting the variable type in front of it. It just kind of helps cement it in my mind what it is. Uh, this way it saves you a bit of typing. Uh, you know, you could probably argue it both ways. You know, personally... I'm just going to stick to putting my uh, data type in front, but you're more than welcome to use the bar. Now, I think that's pretty much it for anything new here. Uh, I believe we've done coal routines already, so it shouldn't be that alien to you. Uh, if not, we will be covering them again. And they're not doing any lambdas or anything here. Uh, in their video, they will be using those, but they already have videos on those as well. So uh, that'd also be a good thing to look at over there. Uh, but anyway, go through all of their demos. Take a look exactly at how everything is put together and how they're achieving uh, certain effects that you actually might want in your game. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll pick another one. Here's a joystick test. So we'll start it up. And if we look, you know, like there's certain features you may actually want to be able to put in your game. And uh, I'm not going to cover all of them. So it's going to be kind of up to you to be able to uh, sit down, go through their code, and figure out exactly how they're doing it. Uh, but I will be covering the ones that I want, at least for my game. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, it was a little short. Uh, the next one, when we start up, we'll actually... I'm going to keep this package together. Uh, so my, my next tutorial is actually going to be in here. But we're actually going to create our little health bars. And then once everything's done, we're going to take what we've learned and move it over to our actual our game package that we're currently working on. Anyway, thanks for watching, and make sure you go out and uh, download your iToolkit. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.